Good afternoon, sir. Shall we start the session? Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all for the second day of International Conference on Information Technology Smart Systems 2024. Now I call Dr. Nancy, HOD of CC Department, to welcome the participants. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all for the second day of the International Conference. I welcome Administrator Reverend Sister Hamdat, whose leadership and direction has been crucial in bringing us. I welcome our principal, Dr. M. Raj Kumar, who inspired both students and faculty to reach new heights of excellence. I welcome our esteemed keynote speaker, Dr. Sundara Vaibalagansa, Department of IT, University of Technology and Applied Science, Oman. I welcome all the HODs and faculty members. Last but not the least, I welcome our participants from various institutions. Yeah. I would like to read the recap of the yesterday's event. The conference started with a prayer and the welcome address by Mr. Shenbavali, HD of EC Department. The keynote speaker, Professor Muhammad Alani, gave a wonderful speech related to IoT-based security. Already. Total of 74 students participated in the event and in the afternoon session, Professor Celestine Ivende gave an innovative speech on research in, in, in information technology and smart system. Total of 60 students attended the session. Uh, we have received total of 87 papers from national and international participants. Uh, once again, I welcome you all. Now I call, now I call upon Mrs. Mavalakshmi, ma'am, APCAC, to introduce the keynote speaker. Good afternoon to all. I would like to introduce Dr. B. Sundra Badivalagan. He is working as Professor in Department of Information Technology at University of Technology and Applied Science, Home. He has completed BHD in Cryptography and Network Security. He has teaching experience of 19 years, working in various institutions. He is act as a member of Department Advisory Board in Mohammed Sadak Engineering College. He also guided five MPhil candidates. He is an editorial member of member of 10 journals. He has total of 22 publications and seven conferences. He has acted as a resource person in various activities. He has attended six webinars and nine seminars. He has published the book in performance analysis of broadcast schemes in Manet in Lambert Academic Publishing, Germany. Without further delay, I call upon Dr. Sundra Bedivalagan to take over the session. Good afternoon. Can you able to hear my voice? Yes. Ma'am, can you able to hear my voice? It's okay. Yes, sir. It's audible? Yes, sir. Okay. 
a very warm virtual good afternoon to one and all gathered here with me today in the digital platform. At the outset, I feel I am honored being a part of this occasion as a guest of honor. First, I do register my note of appreciation for organizing international conference on information technology and small system 2024. I thank the management, principal, organizing committee, and especially thanks to Dr. Mohammad Adi conducting such a wonderful conference for inviting me as the resource person to share my knowledge with the today participants. This type of a conference is the highest platform of students, academicians, subject experts, and research scholar. It's aimed to bring all experts into a single hub and share their experience and knowledge. I'm confident that this conference will play a significant role in encouraging research, continuous knowledge improvement, and providing external opportunity for better collaborations within the research community. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda. Now I'm going to start my presentation on the topic of securing the features, empowering the next generation with the cybersecurity awareness. Can you give us the permissions to share my screen? Securing the future, empowering the next generation with the cyber security awareness. Before going to these topics, we want to discuss about what is cyber security or define cyber security. Cyber security is the practice of defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic system, network, and data from malicious attack. What do you mean by malicious attack? See, nowadays we have a new type of attacks that is like a virus attacks. How we are going to start our security strategy as a layer of protections to defend against cyber crime, including cyber attack? What are the methods we have to follow in making a protection of our system or our applications? We have some of the layer of protection system. Governance assessments, risk management, compliance management, and control. Finally, we have to control our system by using, we have so many methods, governance assessments. We have to assess the incidents. What are all the incidents happen in our system or in our applications? Security incidents. We should, we should assess that system. Then we have some risk management department. Also, we have in the cyber securities that management have to assess the risk. First of all, they have to assess the risk and they have to find a solution. Finally, we have to protect our system. Then compliance management. What do you mean by compliance management? That compliance management is means that is they have to make an auditing and report for each and every security login systems. They have to make an audit and security report. It is called as a risk law and the protection of our computer system. Then finally, we have to control our security centers by using a SOC security operation centers. We have a one of the security operation center which is helped to protect our organizations, our college or our university, which is helped to protect our system. That is a definition of cyber security, which is helped to protect our uh, system or our organization against the cyber attack by using these kind of a uh, methods, governance assessment, risk management, compliance management and control of the center. Finally, we have to control or protect our center. This is the case. The next topic is a common example of a cyber security incidents. What do you mean by incidents? It is, it is also known as uh, attacks. Or what are all the incidents or happens? We have some general type of uh, cyber security incidents that is malware infection. 
What do you mean by malware? We all know about the software and hardware. Malware is nothing but it's not a virus and worms, Trojan horses. These are all the messiest software comprising a system of data that is called as a malware infection. Does it have an antivirus software in our computer system? All the students are having a laptop nowadays, but they don't have an antivirus software system. If they have an antivirus, unauthorized access. What do you mean by unauthorized access, authorized access? Suppose you want to access any one computer device to prove or unauthorized entities. That is also one of the cybersecurity incidents. Then phishing attack. What do you mean by phishing attacks? The attackers, they want to send some emails. By, by sending some emails, they want to hack your computer system or your email attacks. That is called as a phishing attack. They have to send to some trick or some kind of email ID, some kind of email they have to send. They only email. Or unknowingly, they have to download the information, download that emails. Then they have to, the attackers, they reveal sensitive information such as password or financial details. Kind of call it as a phishing attack. Next thing is data breaches. That means unauthorized access, disclosure, or theft of sensitive information such as customer data or intellectual property. That is called as a data breaches. The next one, denial of service attack. When the user needed a request of some information, supposed to be that information is not available, that is called as a denial of service attacks. When the user want to request the services, when they want to request the services, the server has to be reject the services. The server is does not given the response to the user. That is called as denial of service. This kind of attack is called as denial of service attack. Inside a threat. What do you mean by threats? Threat is one threat is nothing but threat is called as an anything can disturb your system that is called as an threats. That is one of the threats, vulnerability is one of the terminology of a computer security system. Here, what do you mean by insider threats? That is also one of the security incidents. Here, malicious actions or by employees, contractor or partner that result in a security breaches within the organization, the employee have to do some malicious activities that is called as insider threats. Then social engineering. Nowadays, all the students and all the faculties, they have an, a social media accounts like an Instagram, like an, a Facebook accounts. When you are using a social engineering attacks, you should be aware about your, your accounts. If it doesn't have an, a security awareness or training, it is possible to attack your social media accounts. That means manipulating techniques, the attackers, they have to use some techniques. They have to, by using the techniques, they have to manipulate to be used to in revealing the confidential information or performing the actions that compromise the computer security. That is a one kind of uh, security incident, malware infection, unauthorized access, phishing attack, data breaches, denial of service attack, insider threat, social engineering. These are all the consist of a cyber security incidents. This is a common examples. We have so many examples are there nowadays. The next we go for principles of computer security. When you are going to implement security system, for example. No, sir, slide is not moving. Sir, excuse me, sir. Slide, slide yes. is not moving. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So maximize, sir. Kindly maximize. Now it is okay. It's okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 sir. So now it is clear. So next topic is principles of computer security. When you when you are going to develop an application, you want to implement computer security system. You should know the principles. What do you mean by principles? See, for simple examples, you are going to develop a website. If you want to implement a security system in your website, you have to follow the, these kind of a principles. What are the principles we have? One is for confidentiality. Another one is for integrity. The next one is for availability. Then authentication, authorization or access control, according. These are all the common principles these are the common principles of computer security. 
What do you mean by confidentiality? For example, you have a many kind of a login system. For example, you have an Amazon online office, online shopping system. See, nowadays, whenever you are going to access any websites, they are asking to you register registration process. Once you complete the registration process, you will get the username and password. Whether you are going to disclose your username password to your friends or someone, you should not do because it is on a confidential data. It is on a sensitive information. You should protect your information in the system so that an unauthorized person cannot access your system. Supposed to be you you have to transfer your, you have to give your username password to your friends or someone else. It is possible to access your computer system. Suppose you have a banking account. Supposed to be you have to create a username and password. You want to give to your friends. This is a confidential information. Don't disclose your confidential information to others. That is a, one of the main principles of computer security. That is a, call it as a con confidentiality. The next one is what? Integrity. integrity is data integrity. What do you mean by integrity? It means the data or information in your system. It should be maintained so that the user, unauthorized user or authorized users cannot be modified or deleted by unauthorized parties. Example, I, I have a one example. I have a one real-time example. So you all having an Amazon account. Can you change your product? It is possible. Can you change the product price? Can you change the product color or whatever? Can you change the product image? It is not possible because you are the authorized user, but you cannot change the data. You cannot edit, you cannot mark the data. That is called it as a data integrity. That is also one of the important principles. The next one is for availability. For example, you want to access your college computer system, which is to the server or you want to connect it to the college website which is connected in the college web server you you have to send some request to the server then the server will give the immediate response supposed to be if you want any response from the server uh, you cannot access that is the meaning of availability what do you mean by availability when it is needed by user the system should be available anytime that is called as a available how the hackers are using these things they have to use a denial of service attacks. When the user wants the service, that what they are doing, they have to deny the service from the server. That is the reason they have to use a denial of service attack. The availability is a very important thing in a computer security system. When the user wants to access Amazon server, it is needed by its user. When the user requests, the server should be given immediate response. That is called it as an availability. See, this is called it as a CIA trade. Actually, we call it as a name is called it as CIA trade. What do you mean by CIA trade? It's an confidentiality, integrity, availability. It's a very important principles of computer security. When you are going to implement a security concept in system or any applications, you should follow these things. These are very important things. The remaining principles of computer security is authentication. The next one is for access control. The last one is for accounting. What do you mean by authentication? When you are coming to the college, you join the college, you, you will get an proof, yes, like your ID. Your ID card is an proof, your other ID is an, one of the proof. Okay? The college administrator, network administrator, they have to give a login password for the college computer system by using your proof, user identity, that is for authentication. Once you get the authentication, your proof is confirmed by your system, then you have to write to access the college computer system or any kind of a system. Once you have to register any website, then you will get a username password. How you will get a username password? You submit some proof that the system is confirmed by you, then you will get a username password from that website or from that organization. Once you get the username and password, you are the authenticated user. Once you get an authenticated, you have a right to access that system. For example, you register Amazon computer system, Amazon uh, website, you get a username password that is for authenticated user. Once you get a username password, you are the authenticated user. Then you have a right to access the Amazon website. That is called as you are the authorized person. Okay. One return uh, permission to access Amazon computer system. 
products or with the product then you have to see the price once you have to decide the product you, you once you have to decide it, you, you are going to purchase that particular mobile phone once you confirm then you have to see the price list it is also confirmed then you have to do the next process for payment process that is the rights to access that is the permissions you have but you cannot change anything in that system that is the access control restriction you are the other user but you have to have a certain limited restriction only but you cannot you are not on a website administrator you are the user you have a some certain access control you are, you are going to access the system but the system has to control you that is called it as an access control here we have a three type of a steps one is for authentication once you get an a username password you are the authenticated user then you have a right to access the computer system that is for authorization once you have a rights to access but you have an, uh, some limited permissions only you cannot access the entire computer system that is called as an login restriction that is a very important principles of computer security system access control that is uh, that is for avoiding the attacks the next one accounting accounting is a uh, very important things that is for security auditing and accounting that is for tracking of data computer usage and network resources it means logging auditing and monitoring the data of the resource and resources it means when the users are coming to the system when the user want to go up the system for example we have an a college computer network system that we have an a switches we have an a routers we have an a firewall system all these systems are helping to protect our college network system but what is the use of this when the when someone some students want to try to access college network system they want to do some trouble in the college network system yes they they have a plan to try to attack the college networks but we have, when we have a good firewall system we can easily identify who is trying to attack our college networks where they are doing which pocket which ip address everything we can easily find out by using a firewall techniques that is how we are going to maintain in the firewall in the firewall system in the routers we have an accounting information what time the user is coming when which login what time they have to out from that login everything we can make it as a one accounting information we, that is accountability that accountability is, is a very important for a network security system and a computer system and the cyber security system also the common way we have a seven type of a principle system that is for caa tried confidentiality integrity availability other than we have a triple a triple a it means as authentication authorization or access control accounting there is a last one is for non reputation also one of the principles of computer security the next topics we go for the surface of attack where possible to attack the computer system where is possible to your mobile phone so many things nowadays in the real life we have to possible many kind of a possible to attack our system what are the surfaces publicly available when a software or system is open for public user when you are going to access some public user that is also one of the problems for our right? then access to internet when a software system can be accessed via through internet suppose to if you want to download some third party website from the internet or if you want to access some website usually you get the some advertisement or some some kind of a link it's coming when you are accessing the website it's showing you have to click this link or you have to download this file that is also one of the one of the things for attack your system then multiple platform availability multiple devices if you are connecting a multiple devices for example you want to connect your mobile phone to laptop laptop to mobile phone that is also one of the problems or one of the one of one of the things for attack your system the next one when you are going to connect your system in a wireless that is a big headache nowadays wherever you go we have a wifi open wifi system that is a public wifi access when you are connecting your computer system in a public wifi it is possible to attack your mobile phone. that is also access connectivity make it easier for the attackers to exploit then about the firewall technique we have two type of rules 
that is one is for inbound rules another one is for outbound rules when you have an outbound rules that is means external networks possible to access our internal computer networks internal networks it is a, it is a possible when you have an uh, outbound rules that is for upcoming markets also we can access to in system that is the main thing that is also one of the possible to attack your system then monitoring without detection for example you have a you have a one firewall system that is for 24 by 7 we can possible to monitoring our system suppose you can monitoring but you cannot able to detect any viruses you cannot able to detect any kind of attack that is your security tools are very weakness that is a vulnerability of your security tools if you have a, for example you have an antivirus system but you doesn't have an a license antivirus system like a kaspersky in your laptop for example you doesn't have an antivirus software system but you can monitor the virus but you cannot able to detect the virus you cannot able to remove the virus because your system is is on a vulnerability your system is on a weakness that is a thing you have to protect your system by using a security implementation or security tools which is help to protect your computer system for the things you have to avoid from this kind of attack surface that is a general things i am telling you the next one what are all the common security risk nowadays we have look this example the man in walking on the road by holding a stick that is that is for using for spies okay look this tiger look this example here some crocodiles are biting here that is threats imbalance supposed to be he hold some stick yes he is having a one stick when it is imbalance it is on a weakness of system that is vulnerability he is an asset human resource is most valuable asset our college network is a most valuable valuable asset supposed to be some threats something can disturb our college network system that is call it as an a threats then this is on a vulnerability weakness of a system what do you mean by vulnerability weakness of a system suppose you have a laptop i will tell you a real time example in your laptop you have an a windows 2008 operating system someone having a windows 10 or windows 11 operating system that is the there is no weakness of his system but your system having weakness because windows 2008 batch file systems having a more common weakness now so that when you are connecting the internet it is possible to enter virus in your computer system so that you have to you must be having a updated version that is the that is the meaning of weakness of a system okay the common security risk are security terminologies we have a three type of uh, security terminology this one is for threats what do you mean by threats here this example crocodiles are threats something has to disturb your system the man is the man in the man in the man has walking in the road the crocodiles are threatening yes that is called it as threats threat it means anything can disturb your system that is called it as threats then what do you mean by vulnerability weakness weakness of a system supposed to be you have a banking account in that banking account you have a username like your name is a username you have a deep pocket for example you have a your password is on your mobile phone that is a weakness how we are going to make it as a strong password when you are going to make a strong password you have to use uh, already you all know about it that is for all for numeric password it means lower case upper case the number special characters everything is combined it is called it as a strong password okay if you are uh, if you want to make it as your system as strong you have to use a strong password don't use a weak password supposed to be you have an a threat something in your computer system you have an a weakness of your system it is possible to attack by hackers that is the main thing when you have a security terminology we have a three type of things one is for threats another one is for vulnerability another one is for attack here i will be mention something of common level of threats malicious software it means virus software and not just access already i explained those user doesn't have an authentication or username and password 
they are called as an unauthorized access social engineering also one kind of a threats because when you are creating a instagram accounts you have to enter all your personal information it is possible to collect your sensitive information nowadays we are receiving they have to change just to change. they have to change the photo then they have to send it through some short messages through the inbox directly they have to send i need some money like that yes people are receiving like that messages yes that is one kind of uh, attacks because when you are creating a social engineering attack we have a mechanism i will tell you later how to create a social engineering attack how to protect how to protect your attack what kind of implementations what kind of a security implementations we have to do for the protection of our social engineering account everything i will tell you later the next one common level of vulnerability already i told you if you have an account with no password or you are having a weak password that is one kind of a vulnerability the large number of open ports when you are see nowadays we are all connecting internet always we are using internet when you are using internet by using your laptop so we have an open port and closed port when you have a large number of open port it is possible to attack your computer system Because the attackers they have to use an a port scan method, the port scanning method, having a N map tools. That is one kind of a great tools we have on the network map tools. By using the tools, they have to find the port scanning methods. What are all the ports are open? What are all the ports are closed? What are all the ports are listening? What are all the ports are not listening? Everything they have to collect the information. You know, in a sense, they have to collect all informations by using a port scanning method. Then. using that information that is possible to attack your computer system or uh, any kind of uh, unknowingly you have to click that link or unknowingly you have to open the email it is possible to attack your system because when you are clicking that email or when you are clicking that link it will be go to hacker computer system then they have to easily collect your information by using that kind of a methodologies this is the things for attacking then the next point is very important cyber skill check how the hackers are doing these things how the hackers are identifying the structure of an attack the tam kill chain is a military concept we have a reconnaissance this is step 1 then weaponization is a step 2 then delivery exploitation that is attack then possible to installation then command and control and finally acts on objectives this is the steps they are going to attack the system this is a way of the steps that is for networking attacks the first one reconnaissance what do you mean by reconnaissance like a port scan they have to reconnaissance it means collect information or gather the information like a user information once they collect it then they have to use some tools that is for weaponization then they have to deliver then finally exploitation finally attack then installation then they have to come on and control they take it as a full control the hackers are hack take it as a full control then finally they have to do they achieve their objectives they have to use their lo their login then enter the universe system then finally they achieve their they are gaining the goals finally they get some profits this is the way they have to do it for attack the computer system then here one of the organizations we have an amit day attack organization that is one kind of a technique that is one kind of a frameworks i will tell you here because there is no time just i will be explain here how to use this one this is uh, each and every organizations supposed to be they are they are getting some some kind of attack they have to they have to report all these attack in mitre attack okay then here we have an uh, some techniques by using the, this this techniques we have to verify here where the attacks are happening see look here this is a tactics and techniques tto actually here we have uh, some techniques supposed to be in your organization or in your system you have an a uh, same kind of uh, attacks are happening you can verify this mitre attack by using this one you can find the techniques by applying the techniques then you have to recover from that from that that kind of a attack these are the some examples this will be taking more time you can go through we have a website you can go to the google type the mitre.attack.org you can find the website attack.mitre.org here you can find the framework this framework which is help to find and techniques and find and tools 
which is helped to protect our computer system from the attacks, from the hacker attacks. Clear? These are the things. Then, how to implement with data? We have some steps that is for reference library, then defense control, then tune detection, train stop, advertisement, emulations. These are all the steps we have to implement your defense. This is which is when you are going to these things which is help to protect our planet. We have uh, some dark web also. Here we have one. I am taking as only one example. This is for proxy server. Already many people are we are using VPN. Suppose you want to connect some unwanted website. Your firewall is not allowing. For example, your college firewall system are not allowing when you have a VPN virtual private network which is helped to access that kind of a system then MAC address that is for medium access control access also one kind of a dark web then Tor web, web browser then dark web here I will be explaining only this example this is a great example Tor web browser web browser already you know what is the use of web browser web browser is used to fetch the file and we can access in the internet. Yes, that is an, uh, that is called it as a web browser. We have an, uh, that is also one kind of a software. Web browser is a software which is helped to fetch the files. Okay, when you are going to access website by through internet. Okay, here what is the use of this Tor web browser? User who want to stay anonymous while browsing the web. If you want to do anonymous, okay, you want to browsing the web, you can use this web browser. It is used to access website on, it is called as a dark web. It's not indexed by any search engine. When you are access website in the room, it is indexed by Google search web, Google search engine. Yes, it's correct. Otherwise, it will be stored in your history also. But when you are using your encryption techniques, you know that one cryptography having a two type of a techniques, encryption and decryption technique. Encryption is, is a not understandable format. Cyber text is converted into a, sorry, uh, original text is converted into a, plain text is converted into a cyber text that is called it as an uh, encryption. That is one kind of a technique which is helped to protect our computer system or protect our data. When you are applying encryption techniques, which is helped to protect our data. The same thing in the Tor web browser, we have a layer of encryption which is used to keep user communication is private. That is, it can be used to access blocked website and protect user privacy when using the internet. That is an important point. When you are going to access internet or when you are going to access website, it is a privacy. That's a bad attack. Ransomware attack is a one type of a malicious attack, already I told you, it's a pre-attack is a malicious attack. What do you mean by malicious? Malicious, malicious attack in which a hacker or cyber criminal encrypt or log computer files or data. They have to get your data example. In our, for example, take it as one organization, IT industry, there they have a database, data server. They have to hack the data. Then hackers what they are doing they have to encrypt all the data then finally they have to claim the amount from that organization that kind of a thing is called it as an that kind of attack is called it as an answer how they are going to do the things demand payment in the cyber currency such as bitcoins these attacks are become increasingly common and victims can suffer significant financial losses. This kind of attack is nowadays for each and every country is having, this is a big problem for the, the hackers are trying to ransomware attack. To protect yourself from a ransomware attack, how we are going to protect? We have to encrypt data, even the companies are, are encrypting data. They, therefore, the encryption techniques, by using encryption techniques, they change the data. Having a, any kind of a username and password, you have to use a, a multi-factor or the multi-factor authentication. Suppose to me, when you have a username password, you want to enter in any computer system, you just enter your login and you enter your password, then you click submit. After click the submit button, when you get the OTP, one-time password from your mobile phone, when you are typing your one-time password, that is the multi-factor authentication, or you have a biometric fingerprint, 
or iris method, if you have an aphase regularization system, if you have an only extra authentication proof, that is called as a multi-factor authentication. If doesn't have, if, if you are not enable your multi-factor authentication in your Google Mail account or Gmail account, you should be do it today itself. Change the factor to multi-factor authentication. It is protection for uh, hacker attacks. Clear? Yeah? That is that is the main thing. This is one kind of security things. Then I will give you some tips for you. Here are some basic security protections you can implement now to safeguard your devices. See, now everybody is having mobile phone and everybody is having, most of them having a laptop and most of them having a Wi-Fi connections and internet. When you are having these kind of technologies, you should be aware something about basic security protection, you should implement these kind of things in your devices. The first one, give your router as a unique name. See, when you are purchasing new router, like your home router, you have to change the name of the default router name. You have to give the unique name. Then, use a strong encryption method for your Wi-Fi. When you, when you have a Wi-Fi at your home, you have to give a strong encryption. Then, when the guest coming to your home, you have to give a guest network for your friends. Don't keep your personal Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi network, your personal Wi-Fi network should be private, not a public. You have to give the guest network for your friends. Then change default username and password. When you are purchasing, you will get a default username password for that router or Wi-Fi connection. You must be change that default username and password. This is one of the counter measures. Then you have to use again and again. I'm telling you, you have to use strong password or unique password for Wi-Fi network and your device account or any kind of uh, website account or any kind of account. You have to use a uh, unique password. Then you have to unneeded features or unneeded services you must be disabled then keep your software up to date you have to up to date you have to maintain your software update your software and update your operating system that is main thing already i told you implement multi-factor authentication that is very important things multi-factor authentication and mostly you have to avoid the public wi-fi networks you have to use mobile data that is an very good security protection of your devices. Again, I'm telling you, give your, your router as a unique name, strong encryption, guest network for your friends, change the default username and password. You have to use strong and unique password, disable the features which is you are not using, then keep your software up to date, then multi-factor authentication, avoid public Wi-Fi networks. These are all the main things for the protecting your devices. The next one, see, this is one in, one kind of an example, beware of juice jockey. And you all know when you are going to the airport or when you are going to public places, hospital or somewhere else, when you are going to railway station or somewhere else, we have an, uh, public ports are available. Yes, don't use for that. Attackers use USB changing port available, charging port available at a public places to install malware so that it is possible to steal your data. They have to collect your data even they have a possible to take complete control of your devices you cannot they have to take your camera control also when you are going to charging your mobile phone in a public places you should take care of the things what is for disabled data transfer feature that is very important then you must carry the power bank your own power bank that is very important things don't use public place port then switch off the devices while charging public places. Otherwise, if you want to put charges, don't put charge with while working, don't put charges. You have to switch off your mobile phone and 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you have to wait there and get the charges, then you have to use your mobile phone. That is also very important things. Okay, these are the tips. Then other things, when you are using a web browser, like in a Google Chrome, you think that, if I clear my browser history first, look at this picture, you can understand. Why if I clear my browser history first, even if you clear your history, Google has record all of your search activity. Simply deleting your browsing history does not delete all the information. You deleted the history, you will be escaped from the activity. Don't think like that. It will be stored 
can be inferred with Google keys relating to your search history. For avoid this one, you want to do the credit access. You have to use DuckDuckGo.com. This is one of the web browser you can use. It's one of the web browsers you can use. Not browsers. It's one of the like a Google. You can use these links. You can search many things. Okay, your data should not be sale at Dr. Go. We agree. Blog advertising trackers. Keep your search history private. Take control of your personal attacks are increasing. What is the feature that improves? Almost 100% new production. These are marketing. See, others, they have to develop the malicious or malware attacks. Then the teams are developing to production. The software companies are the open software community. They have to develop a production. Then almost we reach the 100% security. If you have a cyber security awareness, or if you have a cyber security training, you have to save your you have to save your data. You have to protect your data, your sensitive information. That is a solution. Finally, I think almost of uh, students are there in the conference. So that I'm telling you, this is our certifications courses. When if you have an interest in cyber security, you have to note down these ones: certified ethical hacker, computer security. These are the certifications. Once you completed this kind of a certification, it is helpful for your job opportunities. When you completed your final year, you need to, if you have this kind of a security certification, it is additional point for getting a job easily so that you can go through this one. Here I have one link also that is a, now we have a 10 best cyber security certification also we have. You can take this link. Minimum gate character your password. The password should be start with a uh, capital letter or start with an underscore like that. That, the policy and procedure, every system and every application, once they have type your username and enter your password, you will get a notification in your mobile phone. Yes, yes you are accessing yes or no something. That is multi factor. Oh, okay, okay. But you want one you can create. Just you get OTP also in your mobile phone. That is a multi factor. Oh. So one or more authentication, it is called it as a multi factor. Okay, sir. okay, sir. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Sir, thank you very much. Not able to hear. Sir, having OTP for authentication, is it a secure uh, one? Yes, it's one type of password is a secure one. Yes, it is a random, it is on a, actually it is on a unique number. It's not repeated. No? Um. Uh, sir, for uh, mail, we are using OTP authentication, but if the mobile is with the wrong person, um, they can also use that OTP to log in, sir. So, is there any alternative way or is it the correct method? What is your view on that? See, if you have a money. Factor it is a big mechanism. Even OTP also, it's a, one of the very good mechanisms. Otherwise, uh, we have a smart token also. One, one thing is there. You can use that one also. Then otherwise, you can use another email ID. If you get OTP from even another email ID, that is also one of the important things for uh, multi-factor authentication. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay, Thank you. Thank you.
to all once again. Salili. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, can I leave? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Sir, please wait, sir. Okay. Sir, just a minute. Okay, ma'am. Okay. I'm waiting here. Good evening to everyone. It's been a great pleasure to give a word of thanks. On behalf of JP College of Engineering, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, ICITSS 2024, it's my great privilege to extend a heartfelt word of thanks for the remarkable success of this international conference on Information Technologies and Smart System 2024. Firstly, I express my deepest gratitude to our esteemed management administrator, Reverend Sister Hamlet, our beloved principal, Dr. M. For support and mission in making this conference successful one. Their commitment to forwarding academic excellence has provided the foundation for this event. Next, my grateful thanks to our keynote speaker, Mr. Sundara Vadigalavan, Assistant Professor of Information Technology, University of Technology, Applied Science Woman, for his valuable speech about cyber security that was a very useful information to our students and also us. Thank you, sir. Next, I am grateful to thank Dr. Pinancy, HOD of Computer Science and Department, Engineering Department, Mr. N. Sendhil Murugan, HOD of Information Technology, for their support for completing this conference in a successful one. A big thank to our conference coordinator, Dr. Raju Prabhu, Assistant Professor of Computer Science Department, and my team members, Mr. Princely, Ms. Shanbaroli, Mr. Ponutrai, Mrs. Shemakani, Mrs. Kalavadi, Mr. Ilakya Silvam, sorry, Ms. Ilakya Silvam, Mrs. Ramalakshmi, Mrs. Mahalakshmi, and Mrs. Julian for the valuable support during the interview. I also extend our heart, heartful thanks to the volunteers who tirelessly assist throughout the entry to the conference. Last but not least, a warm, warm thank to all the participants all who have actively participated in the conference. Participate in the conference. Thank you once again to everyone involved. We look forward to welcoming all to future conference. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir. All can leave. The conference is completed. Thank you. You know, let's